Kayla Reed Miller. In talking about Scientology, there's a lot about sexual child abuse and about covering up pedophiles, but nothing about underage auditors having to interrogate grown men about their sexuality. These 14 or 15 year old teenagers being forced to ask old people about their masturbation practices, etc. For me, this is another really ugly face of the church. Yet so far, it was never covered. I read a lot of posts from Sergei and others, and this is an outrageous matter. Since I was never in, I'm of course unsure if this is a matter that could be put out into the public, but I sure think that this is an abuse people should know about. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast about this? Thanks for the question, Michaela. Um, I have not done a podcast about this or really thought about it much. Um, I am not trying to downplay the importance of uh, or the inappropriateness of this activity in Scientology because it is highly inappropriate and I don't think it's okay. But at the same time, um, you know, we're, we're in order to become an auditor in Scientology, you have to go through a lot of courses and training. Um, I mean a lot. And in order before you're doing security checking, which is the kind of auditing where you're going to be asking sharp and pointed questions about sinful behavior, you are going to, um, well, you're going to be pretty prepared for it. Now, again, I'm not endorsing this, but I'm not endorsing any of Scientology. And I think the real abuse here on this is really the indoctrination of these children in the first place on the methods and techniques and theories of L. Ron Hubbard, because they're all, in a word, horseshit. And they set these kids up as little auditors to go on in life and think that they know something about how the brain works or the mind works or how people operate, and they don't. They have incredibly wrong information. Um, you know, you can believe anything you want about a spiritual existence, but L. Ron Hubbard goes out of his way over and over again to invalidate science, biology, um, archaeology, sociology, is certainly psychology and psychiatry who have made, all of these fields have made tremendous, tremendous leaps forward since the 1950s when Hubbard was downgrading and, and deriding them. But Scientology doesn't change any of its materials or views, and so people who come into Scientology, and especially these kids who haven't had any real-world experience to judge any of this against, hear L. Ron Hubbard downgrading and, and talking and insulting psychiatry, etc., and they get the idea that he is speaking the truth and that all of these fields have no idea what they're talking about. Well, that, of course, is not true then, but it's triply not true now. So that's where I think the actual abuse of these children happens. As far as a 14 or a 15-year-old having to listen to an old man or an older man talk about his masturbation technique or something, I mean, yeah, inappropriate, you know, I, like I said, I don't endorse it, but I don't really put that under the, the, the banner of abuse. Um, I mean, children, children, I, I'm not even, you know, these young adults should understand how the world works. They should understand their bodies and other people's bodies. And the fact that people do stuff like this should not be a completely foreign concept to them by the time they're 15 years old. I mean, masturbation is not something you, you know, should be hiding in the closet to talk about. It should be something that kids and, and young adults know about. Um, that's, that's, my, that's my opinion, and I know that that is a controversial opinion for some people. And so, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to argue about it. I'm just stating my position about it. But I am also agreeing, and I want to make it clear that even if you and I don't agree on that, we do agree that it is abusive to make little auditors in Scientology because whether your reasons are, you know, as you stated in your question or otherwise, my reasons are because we are messing these kids up by teaching them L. Ron Hubbard's ideas and, th and letting them think that that's how things really are. They are way not how L. Ron Hubbard says they are. So that's my take on it. I hope that's clear. I hope we're, I hope we're still on the same page here. And um, again, thank you for the question.